Welcome to the Sierra Nevada. I'm here in Minca, a spot that so many Colombians told me I had to go and as soon as I arrived, I knew it was special. I left the warm, humid air of Santa Marta on the coast and it was a 90 minute drive here. The last little bit was a four by four, very bumpy because we are here in a remote area. Originally, the indigenous Tairona people owned this land and this land specifically here is also the home of the first coffee producing region in all of Colombia. Today, it's a hostel slash hotel called Casa Viejas. They call it old houses because there are two old houses from those original coffee picking days. And from that, they've maintained it and built it out with a pool, lots of accommodation. I call it a hostel slash hotel because there are dormitories, but there are also private rooms and cabins. And I think hostel doesn't do its service because so many people think hostel means you have to be 20 to go there. I'm certainly not 20. There are lots of families here, people of all ages, because this is such a special place. I've been here for two nights and I'm gonna share today with you. days ago as soon as I checked in it started raining like really heavy pouring and that's because we are in the middle of rainy season and so I thought okay I'm not going to do anything today so I got a book I started to read I laid in the hammock I had an amazing relaxing day and that really set the tone for my experience here. We are isolated. We're really far away from a lot of things, really in dense nature, but they do create a number of experiences that you can do here. So you can go walking to a waterfall. You can go check out how coffee is made. Uh, you can go bird watching. They have night walks. There's lots of things to do out here. There's mountain biking is very popular in this region as well. I'm not gonna do any of those things. Instead, I decided to create a little mini retreat here. They've got this beautiful pool there's yoga every morning by it at 8 30 a.m. and then also I'm going to have a massage by a local indigenous woman and it's an energy cleansing I've never done anything like it before but I think it's gonna be the highlight of this trip It's time for the massage. I'm not really sure what will happen. I'm gonna see if they will allow me to film. Some people aren't comfortable with it, but fingers crossed. was the most interesting experience I've really ever had. So uh, it was like an energy healing, discussion, massage. You just have to experience it for yourself. But basically, um, first she cleanses you and then she does an analysis of uh, your trauma, things that you're suffering from, things that happened in your life. And she's almost like massaging your different organs to find out where the trauma is. And then she analyzes it and decides what parts she's gonna tackle of your body. So she said a lot of the tension, the suffering, the trauma that I had was from two experiences. Experiences. One uh, was a relationship with my father. My father died when I was five. And uh, another that I had an ex-relationship that um, had really affected me. And those two things were impacting me from having successful relationships in the future and I needed to get rid of this energy. She said, you know, uh, your right foot has some issues. And then she massaged also my underarm and it was so painful, like I could feel it in my hands. And she said, like, those were two areas I was really keeping it. And then she also massaged my torso, like on my ribs. 
there were so many parts of me that were tight that I didn't know um, and then talked to me about you know how to get rid of those and that he needed to kind of get rid of that bad energy to move on. Oh, it was just, it was really, really interesting. I really enjoyed it. So different than any other type of massage that I've had. And it was also a good massage. It was like a good, painful, I feel fantastic afterwards kind of massage. The nice thing is lunch here ends at 2.30, but I told them that I had a massage until 2.30 and I didn't want to eat beforehand. And they said, no problem. I ordered my lunch beforehand. And they said, just when you're done, give us five minutes and we'll make sure that it's ready for you. So now it's lunchtime. Everyone here is just so nice. This has just been a really great experience. Very chill, relaxing, interesting experience. So we're starting off with a very typical Colombian way to have lunch and that is with soup. So in Latin America, lunch tends to be the biggest meal of the day and it's always a soup and then your main course. And a lot of Latin Americans, certainly Colombians, Ecuadorians believe that, you know, if you don't start with soup, it's not a real meal. And here they always have a really great vegetarian soup to start with. So this one has potato, yuca, carrots, some other things in it. They've also had purees in the previous days, but you, a lot of people would think, oh, you know, like just a vegetable soup that's not tasty at all, but not here. They really know how to cook well. Mm, this is good. The vegetables are cooked perfectly, not mushy. It's just really, really good home comfort food. Mm. Now when you come here, you need to be prepared for a lot of different kinds of weather. So we're only 20 kilometers outside of Santa Marta, but the climate is totally different. As you climb up the Sierra Nevada, the mountain, you will see a tropical rainforest and it is lush. There's tons of bamboo. As you reach higher to where we are now, we're in a cloud forest. So you're going to find coffee plantations, sheep, cattle, agriculture, because it's a little bit cooler. And because we're in this cloud forest, what happens is in the morning, the clouds burn off. And then we have a very lovely time first thing in the morning, but the clouds can roll in and out at any moment. The weather changes every five minutes. And so it can be very hot. You can have a tank top on. You might then need a little bit something else. And then you also wanna bring a sweater. The one thing you're gonna need all the time, or I guess two things, is you need sunscreen, you need bug repellent. Bug they're small, you can't hear them, they're little, but they will bite you. Join my Patreon community for more behind the scenes and exclusive content you won't find elsewhere. You can also find me on Instagram and be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. All of these things make my day. Thank you so much for your support.